Hey guys, DC here, and this is my review of Spire Blast on the Apple Arcade for Apple TV. So we have the game loading up here. And we are on the title screen. Before we start, I'm just going to take a quick look around the title screen. You can see towards the bottom there it says the game is fully supported by controllers. We click on the little, uh, I guess, the championship cup looking thing. It just takes us to the um, achievements sort of center. They both do. So I'm going to go ahead and start a new game. All right, so we're taken straight into the game here. Seems like a little bit of a tutorial. So we're going to press A to go ahead and shoot. or blast in this, uh, I guess, scenario. So our goal is to collapse the tower uh, without using too many balls. And this is almost like a big sort of Jenga set. And okay, that only took a, a couple, a few balls there. So you want to match the color ball with the colored block that you're shooting at. Any of the colored blocks that are touching, you know, a similar color will ex explode or kind of, uh, you know, destroy any uh, similar blocks, similar block colors that it's touching. So we got through level one, we're going to move on to level two. But again, I'm just going to go around the navigation menu really quick here. There's different worlds that we can uh, unlock. Not a big surprise there. Okay, Skylands is locked. The Alchemy Shop is also locked as of now. We have 3 of 20 stars, and I'm sure that unlocks our treasure chest uh, down the line. So we can swap colors of our balls by pressing X. And we're pressing A to shoot. So yeah, this is a, a nice little three-dimensional puzzle. Which is nice, uh, and I, I'm using the uh, the right and left, uh, I guess, tabs, those upper level uh, triggers to uh, rotate the camera around the you know the piece here, the spire. The graphics for this game. Aren't the best, but again, the, the colors are really bright. The uh, mechanics are really nice too. It's very smooth as far as kind of shooting and rotating. I really like that aspect of the game. I like the physics of the blocks. The, uh, the you know, this tower really kind of uh, sways back and forth when you shoot it, which is, so it's, it's really cool. They really get those, uh, you know, game uh, dynamics down and uh, collapse uh, sort of uh, dynamics down as well. It definitely is like a, a moving sort of, uh, you know, tower here. Speaking of a uh, tower, and not to, uh, you know, bring some darkness to this uh, recording, uh, I live down in South Florida, not far from the uh, tower that collapsed in Surfside, uh, North Miami Beach, and, uh, you know, that's just something that we're dealing with within our community. Uh, just a sad sort of uh, occurrence uh, that has happened. And uh, we are getting through it day by day. So just back to the game here. It looks like they have given me... I'm not sure if they've given me any goals yet. But they will surely start to give me sort of unique goals as far as how many colors 
two blocks to destroy. But we're still kind of in the g general sort of uh, gameplay as of now. And again, the camera motion is really smooth. The colors are really bright. Graphics are okay, like I said before. But this is a great game to, uh, you know, break break up your uh, sort of puzzle games. Not too long ago, I uh, I did a review on Frenzic Overtime, which is you know one of the newer games or one of the newer puzzlers within the Apple Arcade. This one here is one of the older ones. It's been out for a little bit of time. And uh, I've always kind of uh, been meaning to uh, go ahead and play and do a review on it. And um, this is just another nice addition to the uh, puzzler, uh, puzzlers that we have within the Apple Arcade. And I just love the, the motion and mechanics of the collapse, the collapsing a tower there. Looks really cool. And as we get lower down into the town, you can see some more of the, the graphics and the houses and then the smoke and everything like that. Simple but, you know, effective uh, for this kind of game. And the less balls that you can use, the more points you'll get towards the end of, uh, you know, that round. Alright, so we have three more stars that we can count up. We are approaching our bridge. Now we have a new power up here, boosters. So we have to purchase our booster first and our game center notification will award us for that, for our purchase. Now we're going to use boosters during one of our puzzles here. So it looks like we need to destroy at least 10 yellow and 10 purple blocks. So if we hold, I think that's the X button, that will uh, allow us to open a booster and then shoot at a particular color. Now whatever color that hits, it does break down, uh, you know, the rest of the uh, visible uh, blocks in that color. So that wouldn't that wouldn't and gave us the yellow goal. What I'm gonna do here, I think I'm gonna switch to another booster and then shoot at one of our purple. And then yeah, that gets rid of all the, the visible purple uh, blocks within that section of the tower. So it looks like I made our, our general goal here with the blocks. Now I can maybe go back to just uh breaking down the uh, tower as usual. But yeah, I see the uh, the swaying of the tower there, those you know physics are really cool. And that's why maybe the graphics aren't so cra you know, crazy as far as you know this town that we're kinda above. Put a lot into the mechanics so it's nice and smooth and in it the tower reacts properly when it's you know being shot from one side to another. Just picking my my shot here. So another level completed. We are on the bridge now. They've added a few more goals here it looks like. So 10 blue, 10 red, 10 green. And I have three boosters left. 
And what I'm doing here, I'm just testing it out. I'm not using the boosters, but I'm seeing if I shoot with the regular ball, if it will count towards my uh, towards my 10. Okay, it looks like it did with that red. When I shot with the red, it gave me the two. But yeah, it looks like it only counts when you shoot directly at those colors, not if they fall off. You won't get the points for it. So you have to hit it with the booster or a regular one that you know is connected to, or that's touching the other, a similar color. And again, the goal is to use as few blocks or balls as uh, as uh, as necessary. Use few as you can. That will help increase your your score at the end of the uh, puzzle. And you see here, it's just collapsing on itself. Which is cool. Really smooth sort of uh, dynamics. So it's good to wait like that until the dust has settled more or less and so again you're not using more balls than you need because again you'll get extra points for the fewer balls that you use. So you want to wait for the, the, the tower to just really, you know, stop moving, let it collapse as much as it will by itself and then you can go back and start shooting. Because I do not think there is like sort of like a time element to this game. You know, a lot of times these games have like a, a speed. How fast can you go? This one is, I think, more strategy involved and, and less of, uh, you know, speed incorporated into kind of, you know, your measurements and like how well you're doing within the game. There's no running clock that you can see, so. I like I like that too. Well, that's pretty much my review of the game. I do enjoy Spire Blast here. Pick this up if you uh, are big, uh, if you're a big puzzle fan, and maybe even a casual one. This will help you uh, kind of uh, I don't know break up some of the other puzzle games that you may be uh, playing with in the arcade or anywhere else. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, you can't win if you don't play. Thank you.